We're all heading into a weekend with outside grills, which sometimes create sparks and house fires. So we decided to investigate what really happens after a fire starts at home, the smoke detector, and the most important thing for saving a family. And remember, an average of more than 75,000 house fires break out across America between May and August. ABC's Byron Pitts now teams up with the experts to tell us what to do. While so much attention has been on those terrible wildfires this season, experts say this summer there is a far graver danger in your own neighborhood, thanks to barbecues and overloaded extension cords and backyard fireworks. Nationwide home fires cause, on average, more than 2,500 deaths a year, and the warmer weather brings a slew of new concerns. Los Angeles is responding to a record spike in fatal fires this year with this door-by-door -door campaign. Hi there, how are you? Firefighters looking for homes without smoke detectors. I don't have one, though. You don't have any at all? No. <laughs> There's no smoke alarms at all in your home? No. I don't. As obvious as the need for one of these detectors is, firefighters say in seven of the nine fatal cases recently in L.A., there was not a single functioning fire detector inside those homes. In fact, across the country, over 5 million households don't have any smoke alarms. How does it strike you that so few people here seem to have a functioning smoke detector? It's scary. It's scary as a captain. You know, the last thing we want to be doing is pulling bodies out of these houses. Smoke detectors are the first line of defense, but our investigation shows you need more, especially when you have children at home. Watch as we put one family to the test with theatrical smoke. It's harmless. The little boy wakes up. Okay, he's getting up. He's getting low under the smoke. But minutes go by, his sister in bed to the left sleeps right through the sound of the smoke detector. The parents horrified. She needs to wake up. In a real fire, her room could fill with smoke in seconds. The consequence is fatal. Firefighters tell us kids often sleep through smoke alarms. That's why families need a well-rehearsed escape plan. In this case, one parent picks up one child. Smoke alarms in every bedroom and at least one on every floor. Byron Pitts, ABC News, Los Angeles.